So I've got the uh, mortises all marked out on the uh, legs here, you know, left, right, and front and rear. And uh, you can see I've got one of the legs set up in the uh, hollow chisel mortiser here. And uh, we're putting in uh, 5 16 uh, mortises, which is, of course, the thickness of the tenons that I'm going to add. So we're going to be doing that for a little while here. But the good thing about having the square ends is once I set it up, uh, I can, you know, run through all of them uh, pretty, pretty quickly here. Well, it's been another hot day in the shop. I can't even wear an apron. It's so warm and humid. But all the mortises are cut now with the hollow chisel mortiser. We'll zoom in here. There you go. So the next step will be to cut off the the corners. Uh, so then we have uh, an inch and three quarters on either side. Cutting off the excess to square it off. Now I've cut them down uh, to the correct size. They're about a 32nd over inch and three quarters, but uh, they have to be uh, cleaned up yet from the bandsaw marks. But the mortises are in, uh, so the next thing to do would be probably to uh, put in a few pieces on uh, the side, the back, and uh, the front uh, apron and uh, rail. So uh, I think I'll get to that now. Cutting some uh, three-quarter inch uh, tenons here. This is the uh, dovetail tenon that goes at the top of the two uh, front uh, posts, uh, leg posts, and this is uh, the uh, top piece that holds it together. And um, then the drawer runner that's in the middle is uh, this piece. So we got this uh, 5 16 inch uh, tenon here that slips in and uh, so this is your uh, drawer runner for the the large center drawer and then of course the uh, lower three drawers uh, will have a post uh, in here so um, these have to be cut by hand uh, so that's what i'm doing at the moment and trying to be as straight as possible get that other piece out of there in a second. I'm fitting the uh, tenons here the, on the apron to the legs and uh, as usual they're a little thick which is good because you can always make them skinnier and I'm using my low angle block plane here which has uh, got the blade clear to the edge I put a little chamfer on the corners. But this thing cuts cross grain real nice. So uh, we don't have to take too much off here to make it fit. Zoom in a little bit on that and see if we uh, Got it right yet. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm chopping out the uh, dovetail on the top runner 
right now so uh, as you can see and that's where it gets its strength from is that you've got a, a dovetail across the front there and it's a lot like cutting out a half blind dovetail in a drawer front but you want it accurate so that it's squared up for those of you interested in the music behind there he's just starting to announce the uh, Janacek's cunning little vixen opera which the uh, Cleveland Orchestra performed a couple of years ago it was a huge success and I think they did it in Europe as well so if you get a chance it's on YouTube if you get a chance to uh, watch it it's really great a little more to go well I've assembled the lower part of the high boy or the low boy I guess you could call it and uh, you can see I have my cardboard template on here so I was describing out what the bottom of the apron looks like and uh, so this is pretty much how it's gonna look hopefully you can see a little bit of the dark lines on there obviously I'm gonna cut out the bottom of the apron but you can see here there's a uh, an opening that has to be cut out here and then there's uh, columns that have to be mortised in here because the uh, center drawer is larger than the one with the uh, shell or fan on it and then there's two smaller drawers on either side so I think that's what I'm going to do next as you can see here I'm starting to fit the uh, front apron for the center drawer so I've got two uh, one inch columns here that uh, need to go in this opening. I made this or cut this opening out this morning which is uh, for the uh, center drawer which is larger than the other two drawers. As you can see I marked out where the mortises need to be here and uh, making sure that these are parallel to the um, or uh, perpendicular to the uh, side so that's the next step is to put in those mortises well I've got the front fitted now so as you can see I added the two vertical separators here for the center drawer and they're mortised into the apron in the front eventually I got to cut that out but um, it's nice and solid so uh, and it's square these openings are square so uh, we're going to start, I'm going to do the back next so that I can lay the two on top of each other. Squaring up the uh, edges of the pine back. Well, it's another uh, hot day in the shop here, but I did get the back made uh, yesterday. I glued it up some pine boards and uh, I put the tenons on them and uh, fitted them this morning between the two rear legs. So I've got to make the sides uh, yet and then uh, make some decisions about how I want to assemble the drawer runners and and that I can either mortise them uh, through the back or um, I can build a frame along the back which I've done before and uh, mortise them into the frame and then tack the whole thing uh, onto the back and the front so um, I've got that to decide yet so now I'm working on the sides and I had the large cherry board that I uh, 20 inch wide and uh, this is the uh, the back 
of the uh, there it is left uh, left side, and uh, I've got my story stick here that I made uh, when I uh, did the mortising, so I can just mark it off here where the mortises are on the side. so that I can cut the tenons. Like so. And th this uh, is 9 sixteenths of an inch thick and I did that with a dado set on the uh, table saw. So um, just set a three quarter inch uh, dado and then turned it over and ran it through there. So uh, the next thing to do would be to saw these out. So I'm dry fitting the uh, sides. Uh, as you can see in the earlier, I put the tenons on and That's a pretty good fit. The, you can see the cross grain, I mean the grain on the sides runs this way and of course the grain on the columns runs that way so this is going to split at some point. Well this uh, completes dry fitting of the uh, lower case. So we got the four sides together and uh, I've still got a cut out the pattern there along the apron. I have to cut out the uh, columns here for the quarter columns and of course uh, finish the cabriolet legs and cut the ball and claw feet. Uh, so that'll be the next step I think. So this, uh, this part is done.